Studies show that the concentration of poverty in schools has a strong negative impact on student learning and success. How will you ensure that students from low income backgrounds get an excellent public education? And how will you work to reduce schools with concentrated poverty? An excellent education should not be limited to an elite few. It should not matter what your zip code is, and all students should have the same opportunity to attend a great public school. All the basic needs of a student should be met to ensure a positive student outcome. I'm sure how many of you all sitting here tonight have children. It is, a, it is hard to make sure that your child has has the rest, has been fed, that their needs are met so that when they go to school, they are going to be ready to learn. That's a challenge that we all face as parents. And we have so many parents right now that aren't being able to do that for their children. So how are we going to do that as a community? I think we need to promote partnerships between the school system, government agencies, and other local partnerships to provide support services. I want to reward teachers who take on the challenge of working in high need school and reward them for taking risks and investing in students who need the most support. Yes, I will try to reduce the schools with concentrated poverty by introducing models, including but not limited to community schools. There are, alter there are alternatives that are successful. Changing start times for high school students flexible classrooms so that parents can earn their GED. There are tons of alternatives out there. We need to explore all of them and figure out what is best for the students in Hamilton County. There are models out there that are working and we can work together as a community to find the one that works best for us and implement it. It doesn't matter how hard that it is, we should try to do it if it's what's best for the students in Hamilton County. I, this is, I think, the most difficult thing question tonight because there is no easy answer. Community schools are phenomenal, and neighborhood schools are great when you live in a good neighborhood. People, people love that. If your neighborhood is not as as nice, your school may not be as nice, and that's not um, an indictment, but that's just kind of how it's structured around here right now. Giving some freedom to school choice, expanding the magnet program, um, allowing some more creative charters, whether that's an all boys charter school, uh, I think gives avenues for that. But I think one of the things we have to take a look at in certain situations is something that is a uh, kind of a third rail of public education, which is zoning. Um, zoning is a difficult issue every time, and it gets very heated emotionally. But if we're going to be serious as a community about this, zoning is going to have to be an issue um, at some of our schools and some of our neighborhoods. And it's a question, how are we going to react as a community? I don't have the answer to that. But I think if we're really going to look at concentrated poverty, we're going to have to look at, at some of our zoning and address that. What I would love to see is for us to be able to expand some of the programs we already have. Um, our iZone has not fared as well as we want, but allowing the iZone uh, to increase the school day instead of a couple of hours, two days a week, do it five days a week. Keep teachers there instead of when the grants run out, then they cycle back out of those schools. Those are two very important things because so many of our kids in poverty, the only safe spot they have is the schoolhouse during the day. That's the one consistent they have in their life. And to make that as consistent as possible, uh, is our challenge. One of the things I've suggested is uh, consider a stipend that teachers are willing to loop with kids. When they, so when they come in with kindergarten, the parent knows, you know, the parent knows, the child knows, them, let them go to first grade. Give them some consistency, especially if they're having success, instead of having to start over square one. Because even the best teacher takes some time to get to know their kids. So looking at anything like that, I'd be open to. 